Well, it's the strongest tornado to ever hit Appomattox County. According to the National Weather Service, the EF3 tornado continued for 13 miles, killing one person. State police say 78-year-old Edward Harris was thrown from his home. He was found nearby on Twin Tunnel Lane late last night. Seven others were hurt. Now the community is pitching in to help the victims. And WSLS 10's Duke Carter joins us live. He's in Appomattox County tonight. So, Duke, you talked with a few of the members of the Appomattox County football team who are lending support to those in need. Yeah, good evening, John. Members on the Appomattox County High School football team are volunteering their time and their muscle to get rid of some of the debris that was left behind over the storm. Look at this over my shoulder. You can see some of the debris left behind. You can see broken limbs, the trees uprooted from where they were inside the ground, as well as further on back. You can kind of see some trash that was left inside some of the home. And again, we did speak to some members on the high school uh, team who are just basically volunteering their time to get rid of that debris. Now, there are about 25 members from the Appomattox football team who are helping their teammates clean up and their coach says after the storm hit this is their way to show support to those who lost their homes now some of the football members we spoke to say they're glad their teammates are pitching and helping out yeah, that's that's even more better just to be with them it was just it's just great to see um how our football team would come together this is true family right here Now, that football player, Drew Mann, says his church and his aunt's house were destroyed in the tornado that hit yesterday, but says he'll continue to go out and help others in the storm. John? Duke, if I recall right, uh, while this is certainly a community effort, it's not the first time that the, that the team has come together under this uh, power of one thing. Exactly. Yeah, the team came together under the coach power of one uh, mission last season and after a number of tragic incidents that happened at the school, a number of deaths, I want to say, but they overcame that. They actually went on to win the 2A uh, state football championship. Back to you.